Breaking news of the boogeyman, Jerron Ennis. Every champion in the welterweight division has officially already turned down a unification fight with Jerron Ennis. And I'm talking about recently, from Mario Barrios to Stenonius to Brian Norman. They all turned down the Jerron Ennis unification fight. Now, some people may be surprised. However, if you know Jerron Ennis, you know this has been his story his whole career. It's just another day, another fighter avoiding the smoke. Now, the latest shocking news is that Brian Norman father came out revealing. Eddie Hearn sent him a fourth offer of $1.7 million for Brian Norman to fight Jerron Ennis in a unification. However, Brian Norman father said, that's not enough. They want $500,000 more. So in total, they want a purse of at least... 2.2 million to fight Jerron Ennis. Due to that, they turned down Eddie Hearn's fourth offer once again. Instead, Brian Norman is agreeing to fight Derek on Keyshawn Undercard for a few hundred thousand dollars. So let me get this straight. Brian Norman, he made 100,000 his last fight. And now he's turning down 1.7 million, 17X his biggest payday to fight Jerron Ennis in a unification. Then instead of fighting Jerron Ennis, now he's fighting Derek on an undercard for a few hundred thousand dollars. The math is not math. This makes no logical sense. How are you gonna turn down 1.7 million to fight another champion in order to fight on an undercard for a few hundred thousands against a nobody? Why would you do that? Well, Bozy Ennis spilled the beans. He revealed that his son, Jerron Ennis, already dropped Brian Norman in sparring before he beat him up so bad. Even his father admitted to that on text. And he has the proof. He has receipts. Bozy Ennis even warned Brian Norman's father not to force his hand to expose him. Check it out. Now I'm talking boots ain't this and boots ain't that. See, I'm trying to be respectful, man, because he's he disrespected now. You know what I mean? But he know what Boots uh, done to his son in here. You know what I mean? And I, and I just don't want to be like him, though, but I have to tell the truth. Boots uh, hit him with a body shot and dropped him in here. And I got the text when, after Boots uh, sparred him that time, you know what I mean? He sent me a text, and I got that text. So don't let, tell, tell him, don't let me put that text out. You know what I mean? I got that text when he said, man, listen. Your son whooped my son ass, man. He said, but we were sparring um, uh, 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 Crawford, Bud Crawford. My son had him knocked out on his feet. He want to make the fight? Make the fight and stop running your mouth, man. Ain't nobody ducking. They, they offer you more money than you ever, yeah, you ever want to see. I told you guys before. Originally, I really thought Brian Norman was trying to fight Jerron Ennis. However, he was just trying to get fairly paid in the process. But now seeing how the negotiations are going is one thing if Brian Norman father is trying to maximize the payday before fighting Jerron Ennis. But it's another to completely walk away after getting the price up to $1.7 in order to fight on an undercard against Derek for a few hundred thousand dollars. That doesn't even make logical sense. That tells me Brian Norman has a lot of respect for Jerron Ennis. He's not looking at this fight as both an opportunity and a payday. Absolutely not. He's looking at this fight as a retirement fight. He's looking at this fight as his career may end top of fight. I guess the way Brian Norman is viewing fighting Jerron Ennis is not just I'm fighting Jerron Ennis, but more so, I'm ready to lose to Jerron Ennis. And he wants to get paid as such. The key point here is, 
not to get paid to fight Jerron Ennis in a unification, but more so get paid to get ready to lose to Jerron Ennis in a unification. This is why the price is so high. We all can agree, Brian Norman will fight Stenonius, Mario Barrios, Teofimo Lopez in a heartbeat for 1.7 million. However, because it's Jerron Ennis, now that same money is not enough to fight Jerron Ennis for the opportunity to be great and unify the division. Since the cost to lose to Jerron Ennis is not going to be the same, let alone winning which Brian Norman clearly feels more confident winning against other champions, not named Jerron Ennis. You see, not all the losses are the same. Sean Porter can lose to Errol Spence. Sean Porter can lose to Keith Thurman in close fights. But that loss ain't the same to him getting knocked out by Terrence Bud Crawford. He had to retire after that, just like Lomachenko. When he lost to Salido, Tiffany Lopez, and Devin Haney, he still looked at as a top-level fighter because he was competitive in them losses. However, you don't see Lomachenko being interested to fight Javante for his biggest payday due to the fact Lomachenko knows if he loses to Javante is most likely going to be by KO, and he does not want to lose in that fashion. Well, apparently Brian Norman is looking at the Jerron Ennis fight as a knockout loss. To make matters worse, a top of fight where he can possibly get in there, gets beat up, then gets knocked out. That's something he doesn't want to experience. And that's something that Jerron Ennis is bringing to the table. Clearly, Brian Norman knows that from personal experience. And he's acting as such. You guys heard what Bozy said. He has receipts of... Ryan Norman father admitting that Jerron Ennis beat up his son. Jerron Ennis beat up Brian Norman so bad, he ended up hurting him to the body and dropping him. Therefore, Brian Norman can say Boots Ennis ain't the boogeyman. However, he's not willing to prove it. He said that Jerron Ennis is not all of that, that he could beat him. However, he's not willing to take 17x his biggest payday and get in the ring to prove it which by default that means is the contrary ryan norman knows what time it is with jerron ennis and that's why he's asking for a retirement top of payday to fight jerron ennis with that being said go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe below and to be continue on the next episode of akhi tv peace out وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته